Good morning to you all. Happy New Week, Happy New Week, Happy New Week, guys. Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Monday. Glory to God. Today is Monday. Monday. Monday 12th of December 2022. And today's topic is Point them in the right direction. Praise the Lord. Point them in the right direction. Hallelujah. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We give you all the praise. We appreciate you for who you are. Thank you for this wonderful week you have ushered us into. Our glory and honor belongs to you, Master God. Father, we are gathered this morning because we know that the world is all we need for a perfect week. As we meditate on your word, we thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Absolute of Reality. And today, two people point them in the right direction. Praise the Lord. Proverbs 22, verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from, the, from it. From a very young age, through inspiring Bible stories, first from home and then the children's church, I began to learn about faithful Bible characters and the things to emulate from them. For example, a land of Samson, a legendary Israelite, and a Nazareth from Beth. A warrior and judge, renowned for his prodigious strength. He led and reached the people of Israel from Philistine oppression. Judges 13 to 16. Also, is the amazing story of David and his de decapitation of the belligerent Goliath, of the belligerent Goliath of God, who terrorized the children of Israel. David won the victory for Israel and brought the fear of Jehovah upon the Philistine. Praise the Lord. That for Samuel 17 to 20 to 58. The story of Mordecai and Esther was also very inspiring to me. I read how they championed the cause of the Jews amidst the threat of complete annihilation by human by Ammon, a sworn enemy of God's people. Esther 3, 5 to 6. These stories of the prophets and apostles in the Bible helped to shape my mindset and character as I was growing up. Most of all was the God and visiting life of Jesus. I was able to quickly distinguish the right rule model in the Bible in my formative years. This is why it is important to train your children in the way they should go. Get them exposed early to God's word and the right Bible characters. We have Rhapsody of Reality for kids and early readers and for teenagers. Use this and all of our other materials for your children to raise and train your children, young siblings and other children around you. Influence them to think like champions and world changes. Praise the Lord. Position them to think differently, to be innovative and solution providers. Point them in the right direction and they will never lose their way. Praise the Lord. They will never lose their way. If you don't want to cry about your children in the future, these are the tools. Praise the Lord. These are the tools. What a wonderful topic. Point them in the right direction. This is, if you want to live a peaceful life, if you don't want to live any life of regret, this is the path. Praise the Lord. This is the path. Train them in the way of God. Bring them up in the way of God. 
teach your kids about God. Don't be too busy for that. That is the only way you have rest of mind. If they go out, you are sure that they are, you know, yes, my children are okay. Yes. Even with their peers, they can never be influenced because already you already coquette the word of God. They know the do's and don'ts. So that is the best way to train up your children. There are so many stories in the Bible that will strengthen them, that will make them bold. You understand? David was bold. Samson was bold. Because the spirit of fear will subject you in this world. So you have to teach them these story Bibles. These people in the Bibles that were bold. It compared to them the God's law. So they will not be manipulated. So this is the best gift you can give to your children. The Bible. Teach them as they are growing up. Just the way you speak language for your children. And when they grow up, they start learning it. So that is how you have to teach them the Bible. Even when they are babies, read it in their ears. They hear you, this baby, they hear you. Even in the womb, they hear. That is why you say some more that they sing. Yes. Hallelujah. What a wonderful topic. So with that being said, let's take our prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, I pray for an increased work of grace and greater boldness in the heart of children all over the world and all chances to bring the message of Christ's love to others in their schools, home and among their peers. Amen. With signs, wonders and miracles in Jesus' name. Amen. For that study, you can look at 2 Timothy 3 verse 15 and Proverbs 22 verse 15. Proverbs 23 verse 15 to 14. When you're back with the plan, you can look at Revelation 4 and we'll see 11 to 14. To your Bible with the plan, Revelation 12 verse 1 to 10 and Micah 1 to 2. So at your leisure time, please go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. God bless you. God bless you. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotion. And I want to use this opportunity. If you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, there's an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. If you feel this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study the word of God, get to know who your father God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And sisters and brothers, bombard yourself with faithful messages and look for a believing church and worship there for strength. Whew, what a time we had this morning! And please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so. So, every time I upload a video, you will first to notify. It's good that we start our day with the word of God. The Bible even says, Second, first, the kingdom of God, and every other thing shall be added unto us. Praise to Lord. I'm on Facebook, follow me at Flora Cooking Channel and I'm now on TikTok. Our God is good <laughs> all the time. God is pushing me and I'm not taking anything for granted. I bless the name of the Lord for strength. So guys, before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We give you all the praise. We appreciate you for such a time this morning. And for your word your word always produces the result it talks about but i will thank you for making every quick way straight today in our part thank you for giving us victory over satan and his court thank you for giving us victory over this world and his system and for in jesus mighty name of prayer amen thank you so much you have a fabulous day i will see you same time tomorrow by the grace of god 
God bless you. Bye.